Okay, so the third question we have today is what exactly is a gap year? A gap year happens every four years. It's called a year. <laughs> question over. <laughs> okay, so a gap year in right. terms of technical wise, technical wise, the school year for gap year is basically you're going and you decide. We've talked about this actually for before you go to college, you take a year off and you kind of go exploring. It's really big in uh, the UK. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say England, but UK in general. So even you know, Europe, yeah, in Europe general. in general, yeah. yeah. UK and England are the same thing? Yeah. No. <laughs> England's a subset of the UK. Okay. We're learning geography. <laughs> but, um, we apologize. So for teaching. Yeah. This time I'm going to try to yeah. <laughs> Can we get that? Uh, so, yeah, it's, re it's really big in Europe, and uh, what happens is they take a year off, and it's a lot of, well, depending on who does it and what they do, but it's usually traveling and exploring yeah. the world, and then they jump into the education because it's, hey, this is my last chance to really have the freedom and the opportunity to go around yep. and explore and see all these things. Um, so that's what a gap year is. Um, but internally, we talked about how you can potentially take a gap year in the middle of your yep. school, too. Mm -hmm. um, and that happens for a number of reasons. So I'm just going to go into my rabbit hole, and then you guys can discuss what um, happened with you or your friends. But uh, my friend Steve, what's up, Steve Pinkham? Uh, we went to school together at Champlain, and they did a study abroad program in Quebec or Montreal. I'm going to get it wrong. Montreal. Montreal. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Got you. So, yeah, it's uh, with Ubisoft. Um, if you guys like video games, uh, there's a great program where you can actually go to Ubisoft and work with, well, you have teachers that work from Ubisoft. And so he ended up going up there for a semester, um, had some really bizarre things happen to him while he was up there uh, his first week and decided that I need to get out of here. Um, this is really sketchy, I'm, I'm not gonna go into details, but uh, he decided to Did bounce. he run into a moose? Uh, he did not run into a moose. Okay. Yeah, he, moose uh, are sketchy. Like. Yeah. <laughs> he listened Christy. to jazz music and he ate microwave dentistry. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, so he had some stuff happen to him and he was like, I gotta get out of here. Um, and so he ended up bouncing back to Massachusetts and he took a semester off. And uh, so it's not technically a gap year, it's a gap semester, uh, but then he ended up coming back, he switched majors um, and ended up graduating just a year after us. Uh, during his gap year off, he actually explored doing different things with video games because that's what he was in and realized he hated it, uh, which is something that you might want to be aware of if you're a big video game guy because it's not all sunshine and rainbows when you think of like just hanging out playing. <laughs> um, there's a lot of work that goes into it and a lot of overtime, a lot of hours. Uh, and he became quickly aware of that during his gap and decided that, hey, this is not right for me. So it's important that, yeah, you can go exploring and do all these things, but also explore the job and explore what you're going to be getting yourself into and really reconsider everything that you're going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. I think... No, no. you go. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people also like take a gap year kind of to not like take time off from school, and learning. Um, I think it's just, you know, get that experience. You've been in school for the past like 12, 13 years just doing the same thing all the time. So you've never, you might not have been out in the world as much. So now it's like a year to maybe travel um, or take a year just to work a part time or full time job, make some money, and then go to school. But it's not the same as going abroad. Like it, it's taking a gap year is not the same as traveling for study abroad. Yeah. Um, study abroad, you're going and you're taking classes while you're abroad. If you're taking a gap year, usually you're just traveling. You can yeah. sometimes take classes. You can sometimes there take was, classes. Um, there was a post but on College Express like a week or so, maybe a couple weeks ago, about different gap year programs, and some of them have classes that you can take, and they go all over the world, and it's a specific class, but you do different things. It can be volunteering, it can be work, and there are different opportunities for that kind of thing. But it's not connected like with your college. Yeah. Yeah, to go back to your point, um, before you so rudely interrupted me interrupting you. It's the teacher. Wow. <laughs> I know, it's coming out. Glad I'm between you two. Break it up. Um, what, that's exactly what one of my friends did. Uh, he went to, he started at Hope College um, and ended up coming home, taking a gap year. He wasn't feeling it, wasn't vibing with him. He was having fun and he was in a, in a frat, I think. Yes, he was in a frat. 
He was having fun, had friends. Um, but he just wasn't sure if that's what if his major is what he wanted to do. Didn't know where he wanted to go into a different field instead. So he took a gap year, which, I mean, ultimately, he has not gone back to school because he's taken different routes and he's taking his own EMT classes. I think he's doing police st- studying for the academy now. He's trying to go all the first responder routes, yeah. I guess. Um, but that it was kind of the same thing, like discover, get into a, a field, test it out, see if that's where you want to go. You can come home and try it. Yeah. But. Um, a lot of students will also take gap years because they're just not ready to go to college, and that's okay. Um, some schools will defer for a year, and a lot of schools will encourage that, too. Um, if you get accepted and you say, I kind of want to hold back and go and work for a year, they'll talk to them and see if you can defer for a year or even a semester if that's all you need. Um, some students will also take a gap year or a gap semester if there's a family hardship or a family crisis um, that comes up and you, you're like, I need more time. And schools are very understanding of that kind of thing. Like I said, there are programs, like we've talked about, that you can work um, during that time as well um, and just kind of kind of figure out what's going on. If you want to explore different things, if you're like, I'm not ready to go to college, you can even put off um, applying for a year if you know you want to take a gap year um, and work in different industries and try to figure out what you want to do because honestly, it's kind of ridiculous. You guys are 17, 18 years old, and we're trying to force you to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life. So if you're like, I want to take a gap year and see the world, um, do these different programs, do some volunteering, do some work in different fields, that's completely understandable. And that's the kind of experience that's going to help you figure out what you want to do, what you want to go to college for if you want to go to college, if you want to go to college in general. And it's going to help you learn these different things. And that's why a lot of people, uh, a lot of students will take a gap year, um, is just to figure everything out. And that's okay. Um, I feel like there's a stigma against gap years sometimes. Um, but not everyone moves at the same speed and it's okay if you need that time to explore, to learn, to work, to figure things out. My cousin started school last year and she ended up leaving school midway through the semester because she realized she wasn't ready for it. She was 11 hours from home and she wasn't ready to be that far from her parents and that's okay. And she's like, I'm going to go back to school. I just need time. And it's fine if you need time. And I don't think we say that enough. So it's fine if you need time. Work at your own pace. You're going to get the degree no matter what. It's going to say the year that you got it, not how long it took. Also, your experience in that gap year can make for a killer college application, like, essay. You'll have something to write about that could be far more interesting than what you did in high school. You never know. Yeah. That's even, uh, like... We talked about before college, during college, after college. So if you're considering going to grad school, mm-hmm. uh, like my wife Emily is just finishing up her graduation degree, or gra- graduation degree, <laughs> her, um, uh, her grad school for teaching for nursing. And so we had two years, and then she decided, okay, now's the time I'm ready to go back. She was well established in what she was doing for work. She had gotten into that position where, hey, I'm comfortable, this is great, I'm moving up in the company, I think I can handle it, and I'm going to continue to work full-time and then take grad school programs too. And that ended up working out great because it technically it's a gap two year. Um, but uh, Gap years. Gap years, yeah. There's a Z. Cool. Um, we already but, discussed uh, we're not cool. It goes back to part the jazz. Of the table. That's why this like part jazz. of the table is not cool because it's jazz. Jazz has two Z's. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can take the, the time to, like I said, save up money, kind of get yourself established and make sure you want to continue in that career. So she, at the time, was a hospice nurse and she moved into nurse management and then now she's into nurse teaching. So she was like, hey, I really like the education aspect um, when she made that first switch and I want to pursue that. So... Once you're in the field, you can kind of get a better feel of what you want to further pursue and then take that year to manipulate. Also, some workplaces will help pay for your grad school. So yes, if you take that gap year in between yeah. your undergrad and your grad school, then you can get a job. They might have some programs that will 
give you a certain allotment, or they'll pay for it. Some places yeah. pay for your whole degree, which is awesome. But um, that kind of is, I mean, that goes into the next question later on about financial help, but it's definitely something to consider if you don't want to keep adding up a bunch of money. This, go on. No, I was going to say, I definitely, once I was in college, I thought about taking a gap year, and I kind of wish I took one between high school and college, because not that I wasn't prepared for college, I just felt like I wasn't in a place where I wanted to go to college. Like, I went because I felt like I had to, and I couldn't take that year. Um, but I had no idea what I wanted to do freshman year, and it wasn't until the end of my sophomore year that I actually declared my major. But I feel like that gap year would have helped me and I would have figured out maybe what I wanted to do within the first year I was in college and then I would have had more time to do like the internships and everything. So even if you're thinking about it, just maybe do some research yep. into it and um, definitely don't just like decide on a whim that, hey, I'm not going to go to college yep. for a year. Like do the work, do the research, create like a pros and cons list, figure out and, if it's right for you. Sheet. In a spreadsheet. Definitely a spreadsheet. Of How can you do anything in life without a spreadsheet? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also, we've talked about the option of a grad year after college, if you're thinking of going to grad school. Um, even if you're planning to just go into a career, there are gap year options like AmeriCorps, Peace Corps, um, volunteering opportunities where you go to a different country and you speak, and you, you, speak and you teach English. Um, as a second language, <laughs> <laughs> we imagine English as a second language, and that might might not that those might be your career goals. But if they're not, then those are still options for you to like go learn different things, have a different experience, speak English. To I was up on your resume. <laughs> I went to Africa <laughs> and I spoke English. <laughs> wow, for a year, for a whole gap year. Just as like a flashback, I'm walking over. Hey, so, yeah. yep. Can you so talk everybody. about your experience? <laughs> yes, this is my experience. I can just picture some of the things like Tyler says. Like I'll like message Tyler and he'll be like, "Cool beans" or something. Like he would just say stuff like that back to people, and they would just like try to teach them English. Yeah, they'd just be like, "Cool beans, call back at me." <laughs> I feel like that would be a great. Class. That would be an amazing class. I would take that class. Teach speak real English. <laughs> So those are some options. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, Just the way I spell stuff too. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. Like cools K E W L. Disease. It's disease. The Z makes cooler. Um, I think too. Is there a Z on spreadsheets? Yes. Um. Also, <laughs> I'm going to be boring and bring it back, but uh, um, don't be afraid in the middle of, of college. Like, also, I know we keep talking about in the middle, but um, if something happens, like, and you need to get yourself back on track, you can take that gap year because of that. It doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't have to be because you're indecisive or anything like that. Like, one of my friends ended up getting really sick. He had mono for, like... I don't know, two months, three months, and it really affected his grades, and he, like, couldn't go to classes. I don't think he was able to take exam. I think he was just all messed up, and instead of trying to retake those classes right away next semester, he was like, you know what, I need a year to regroup. He took a year off. Um, at the time, he was when he got sick, he was going to Delaware. You, you Delaware, I think. Um... And then he ended up coming back home, did a gap year, and now he's actually going to UMass Lowell. So, I mean, no harm in coming home. Also, then he decided he could do it from home and focus a little better because he wasn't in a frat and do his thing, <laughs> actually do some school stuff. Um, but then he was healthy again, and he wasn't stressed out trying to do it, getting right back on track. So 